This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. In today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to put flashlight into your character's hand, but not really your character's hand because it's gonna be first person tutorial without character mesh. So basically you're just gonna have a camera uh, flashlight in your camera uh, POV. So let's go ahead. I, I'm using first person template just so I get the through first person uh, character. Uh, I also have a flashlight model that I made in Blender, so I will put a download link in the description. So yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, first thing that we need is we want to create an um, interface that's gonna be our interaction interface basically. Uh, so right click, blueprint and interface, call it BPI interact. So this is going to be an uh, interface that's going to communicate through the blueprints with uh, our actor that is going to be pickup actor and the um, and, uh, character. So just rename this function to interact and that should be it. Okay, uh, now when you did this uh, we can go to our first person character. So just go to your character and add implemented interface BPI interact. So go to class settings, implemented interfaces and add your interface here. So now we need some way of calling this uh, interface. So what we're going to do is um, create input. So here we have input. We can add new input input action and call it AI interact and I'll just add it to MC default here I interact and I'm gonna set it to be E okay so now we have a uh, that here I'm gonna go EA interact so I'm calling the interact and when we press E I want to fire line trace by channel just like that and uh, we're gonna get our first person camera because this is basically our eyes so this is what we see in the game and I'm gonna get world location that's gonna be our start also I'm gonna make it a draw, draw debug type uh, to be for duration so we can see if it works and now we're gonna get our forward vector. This is basically gonna be um, for uh, the line that shoots in front of us. So we want to go forward and we're gonna multiply it. And we are gonna uh, right click on the second pin and convert it to the float. And this one is we are gonna promote to variable and call it, call it interaction length. So we can just um, Oh, I already had one, but just basically uh, interact length and make it uh, to be 250 or something. Actually, I will put 400, but you can test and see how it fits. And now we just uh, add the forward vector with our world location of the camera. And then we get the line that ends in front of us 400 uh, units away. So. This is a very simple way to create interaction system with first person. <coughs> so here we have for duration, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna break it result and from here I'm gonna branch. And from the hit actor, so when we hit some actor, we're gonna call interact. And this put inside of the true. And now if we go ahead, as you can see, we have, oh, let me just remove these hands from first person template, like that. Let's make camera a little bit like this. Okay. So now if you press C, we have interaction. Okay. So the thing I said I have to do is I have uh, my, my flashlight model that I will leave link in the description. So I'm going to add static mesh here because it's a static mesh 
and I'm gonna add my flashlight just like that and I'm gonna pull it inside of the world uh, my first person so I can test uh, my camera so I will make it like that Let's see how it works. Mm. Is it too big? I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, let me see in the full screen. Yeah, I mean, you can just play with it. Uh, I will just leave it like this now. You can play it with it obviously, but I don't want to spend uh, way too much time uh, just getting it right. So you can just move it here and uh, check what wor uh, works best for you. But let me try a little bit more to adjust it. And because you parent it to the first person camera, uh, your flashlight is gonna follow it. Okay, move a little bit back. Like that. Okay, that works good. So we have a flashlight in the hand now. Obviously you will uh, make it fit better. But I'm just showing you how to make it uh, work. <coughs> so, select static mesh, set visible to false, and rename it to flashlight model. Compile and save. And now, inside of I, our first person character, I'm gonna create some event, or I can create even function, because there is no delays inside. So this will be give flashlight. So from the give flashlight, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get flashlight model and set visibility, new visibility to be true. So we have visibility and also I'm going to create new boolean and it's going to be has flashlight and I'm going to set it to true. By default this boolean uh, should be false so when we spawn we don't have a flashlight. Okay so that's good. Uh, you can also add the sound effects you know play sound 2D. So when you pick up the flashlight, I can just show you it works like this. Uh, okay, so we have a function. And now we're gonna create a flashlight on off. So here we're gonna be creating branch again. First, we're gonna check if the player has flashlight. If the player has flashlight, then we're gonna uh, create another boolean. Flashlight active. Then we're gonna, we're gonna check if the flashlight is active. By default, it's gonna be false. So we're gonna, well, also we need to create a small spotlight for our flashlight model, so make it visible for a second and add spotlight that's gonna be literally the light in our flashlight so you can just position it here like that if you want it to go from flashlight you can do it like this but you can also make it to go from camera as well but i think this is just uh, more realistic like this And you can adjust it how you like. Let me just see if it works. Yep, it works. So we have a flashlight here. It's a daytime, so it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can do something here. Um, the sky, directional light. Yeah, make it a little bit darker here. Yeah, as you can see now, it's you can see it better. We have a flashlight. 
and this model is too big so it kind of looks ugly i cannot even test with it so i'm gonna just make it a little bit smaller i'm gonna make it make it 0 0.7 on all axis and i'm gonna adjust it now let's see how it looks now yep that looks better I full screen. Oh. Okay. Okay, that looks very good now. Uh okay. So now the spotlight also will be visibility off. Uh actually we can just uh yeah visibility off. And uh here where we flashlight on. We're gonna get the spotlight or call it flashlight spotlight so we know what we are talking about. We're gonna set visibility so if the flashlight is not active, we want to turn the flashlight on, obviously. So set visibility on, and uh, also we can. Uh, we don't have any sound, but you can just play sound 2D if you want to add a click sound. And above as well. If it's active, we're gonna set it to be off. But don't forget, we need to set flashlight active here. So if we turn it on, then flashlight active is gonna be on. So next time we press the button, uh, this one is gonna be fired because it's gonna be returning as a true. And here we're gonna set it as a false. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see how this works. Let's make it a little bit cleaner. Okay. So in the give flashlight we have a okay. Okay. So the main thing now that we need to do is we we can just get F key. You can do this with uh, enhanced input system, but I'm gonna do it like this. So. We don't waste too much time. Uh, and we're just gonna call flashlight on off. So we just need one because already here we set up if it's active we're gonna turn it off, if it's off we're gonna turn it on. So we can uh, go to our viewport and make sure we set visibility to be off. This one as well, okay. So now if we go Inside of our level, if we press F, we cannot turn it on because we didn't pick it up yet. I'm gonna create a pickup actor. So what I like to do with the um, actors is uh, I'm gonna create folder actors and I'm gonna create new blueprint class. Call it uh, and it's gonna be uh, of type actor. Call it base uh, pickup or uh, base interact and I like to uh, cast on the begin play I'm gonna cast a first person character because it's my character that I use now I'm gonna get player character and also I'm gonna promote to variable and call it character reference so now uh, I will go ahead and duplicate it and call it BP flashlight like that, or rather a BP flashlight pickup. I'm gonna go to the class defaults, uh, class settings, sorry, and I'm gonna implement implement BPI interact. And now we are gonna double click interact, and here we're gonna pull the character reference. So why do we need character reference here? Basically, we need to call this uh, flash uh, give flashlight function. So we're gonna uh, call give flashlight like that and now once we uh, put it in our level like this make sure to add the model as well so we need static mesh to represent the flashlight on the floor like that maybe a little bit smaller and let's add Mm, spare collision 
like this. So now, if we okay, it's too small. Let's make it one again. Let's make it rotate a little bit, like that. So now, if we go ahead and play, we press F. We cannot uh, turn on flashlight, but if we come to the actor, we can pick it up and we can turn it on. Sorry for the jump scare. It was the sound that we tested. Uh, also here, we need to destroy the actor. And uh, let me just. Uh, This sound is very jump scare, so let me just delete it. Okay, so again, press F, can't do anything. Come to the flashlight, we cannot just uh, overlap with it, we need to press E. When we press C, we basically take flashlight. Now we have a small shadow flying, but it's easy fix. But as you can see now, we press F and we can um, turn on and off this flashlight. Okay, so. Uh, to, f uh, to fix the problem with the shadow, it's very easy. Uh, just find the flashlight model and cast shadow should be off. Like that. So now if we go and pick it up, as you can see there is no more shadow. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be adding uh, batteries, so you will be able to pick up batteries and use it for your flashlight. Uh, that tutorial should be out uh, later today or tomorrow. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.